I have a category here called useful expressions. You're, these are vertical columns. You're going to see how this works as, as, as we go. And uh, you're right. Uh, your, your, your best bet just to say hello is you say marhaba. Right? Do you know people that speak Arabic? Um, just um, another teacher that I'm using for uh, to learn how to read and write it. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, so you've got a teacher, you've got uh, you've got me, you've got uh, maybe people you could meet around town, and uh, you can meet people online too that aren't necessarily teachers, but just someone that you can converse with. Oh yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, strategy-wise, first little strategy point is is, is I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity I can to speak a little Arabic. I, I'm not going to wait until I'm good to start using a few words. I'll just uh, I'll make it uh, like conversate like a almost a conversation point. Like I walk into a restaurant, it's an Arabic restaurant, and I'll just go marhaba, and they'll go ah oh, marhaba, and they're like oh you speak Arabic, and I'm like no, I just know how to say hello. And they're like oh okay, great, you know, like I'm not going to wait until I know a lot to start trying it. Right. So you want to say hello. What do you say? Marhaba. Marhaba. All right. And then just this is another useful expression. How do you say that? Uh, hold on. It's it's kind of small. When I say, there we go. Yeah. Uh, if you if you expand your screen. Yeah, I, I can see it perfectly now. Okay. It yeah, says no. you used to put uh, ismi mark. Yep, ismi mark. Ismi mark. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, what I do is I'll put a verb here, such as the verb I am. Uh, how do you say that? You, uh, Anna? Yep, yep. Uh, try, say, say Anna. Anna? Anna. When I learned Arabic, I was sure it would have to be Anna, because I was coming from Spanish and stuff. But it's Anna. Oh, uh, Anna. Just like my sister's name. Okay, so Anna, all <laughs> right? Uh, and then to say where you're from, this is from. Uh, min? Min. And then you just fill in the blank. Min. Chicago. Right? So how do you say, hi, my name is Mark. I'm from California. Uh, on the OPI, your military uh, language interview, uh, they'll, they'll want you to introduce yourself. And it's funny, I worked with a couple guys from the FBI, and I was like, dude, no matter what, they're going to ask you to introduce yourself. Don't get tripped up on how they ask for it. And sure enough, the first question was, was who is Mark? And they're like, who is Mark? Like, they ask it a weird way, but it doesn't matter. You're predicting, predict what you even think. If it's the beginning of the test, assume that whatever they're saying, they're asking you to introduce yourself. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so you're 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 meant to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm from California. How do you say that? I would say um, marhaba. Uh, ana, uh, ana min, uh, Mark. Ana min, uh, California. Cool. So take this building block first. Marhaba. All right. And shoot to this building block. Oh, okay. So I would say marhaba. It's me, Mark. Montez, Montez. Uh, I'm from California. Anna Min, California. Yep. <clears throat> and um, here's the thing. You can now just keep adding blocks to your vocabulary, like, at will. For example, you don't have to learn this if you don't want right now. But if you say Anna Min, Genoub, California, it means I'm from Southern California. Oh. You know what I mean? It's a, you can you can you don't have to say that. I'm just saying you, you just look how notice how how you how you just you know add building. It's just it's a Mad Lib. Fill in the blanks. That's really useful. Oh wow! All right. So I say I'm from Southern California and just score some extra points with the teacher and they'll go, oh, he's from Southern California. You know. I did it again. All righty. All right, so so introduce yourself, Mark, please. Marhaba, it's me, Mark. Anna Min, California. Montez. Score some extra points and say I'm from Southern California. Oh, okay. Marhaba, it's me, Mark. Anna, Anna Min, Genoub, California. How do you say I'm from California? From Southern California. Oh. Anna Min, Genoub. California. Mm -hmm. 
how do you say I'm from California? Anna min California? From Southern California. Oh, from Southern California. Anna min Janub California. Montez, uh, w- what I was trying to get you to say is, is Anna min California, and then like add, offer additional information. Min Janub California. Min Janub, okay. You know what I'm saying? My point is that you can, is that, is that you can, there's no script. You're free. Oh, okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> if you want to ask me, are you, you say that, how do you say that? Inta. Inta. All right. Ask me, this is a yes or no question, right? Are you from, ask me if I'm from such and such place. Okay. I'm not in, um, I'm in uh, Florida. Okay, okay. And now you want to ask, are you? Oh, I'm uh, Inta. Inta. Inta, Inta, I'm in Florida. Inta, I'm in Florida, yep. Ask me if I'm from Chicago. Inta, I'm in Chicago. Hey. 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 And I'm in Chicago. Uh, Mark, Inta, Inta, I'm in California. Uh, hey. Montez, Montez. Reiterate for me. Say yes. I am from California. Hey. Um, I'm in uh, California. Montez, I'm in California. Uh, Mark, Inta min Janub, California? Hey. I'm <coughs> in Janub, California. <coughs> Montez. Ask me if I'm from Chicago. <coughs> Inta? Inta min Chicago? Hey. Hey, and I'm in Chicago. Ask me if I'm from Florida. Uh, in the mean, uh, Florida? La. 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 Uh, uh, Mark, Inta, Inta, Min, Florida? Uh, la. Um, I'm in Janub, California. Ah, Montez, Montez. Montez, Montez. Um, say I am not. I am not. Um, Anna Mish? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not from, I'm not from Florida. Hmm. Anna Mish Min, Florida. Anna Mish Min, Florida. Anna Mish Min. Say, I'm not from Florida, I'm from California. Okay. Anna Mish Min, Florida. Anna Min, California. Montez, Montez. Ask me if I'm from Chicago. Inta Min, Chicago. A, A. Anna Min, Chicago. A, Anna Min, Chicago. Ask me if I'm from uh, uh, Florida. Inta Min, Florida. La and I'm in Florida and I'm in Chicago. Ah. Mark, into in Genou, California. Um, hey, and I'm in uh, Genou, California. Montez, 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 Montez. Um, easy way to turn a question around is you say and, and then yeah. you just the, the way they pronounce it is they just smash it in with into into you. So it's like and you. What about you? How about you? Is it winter? Winter. Winter. Oh. It's, and is, is ooh, like ooh, ooh, however you want to, you know, but they smash in with inta. So it's, it's like ooh, inta, winter, winter, winter. It becomes winter. Oh, okay. Winter. Mm-hmm. Say, uh, I'm from Southern California. What about you? Okay. And I mean... Uh, and I mean, Genoub, California, winter? Montez, Montez. I have a section up here called Topic, uh, and we can keep track of uh, sort of what topic you're on. It, it's sort of the, the um, it's like a, like a circle, like we're inside of this circle. Okay. All right, your topic is self. And so you, you know what your topics are going to be on this test, or, or at least I do, and I'm going to tell you what they are. You know what I mean? So you, you, you know what the topics are on your test. 
<clears throat> you just have to know which topic they're talking about and then how to field uh, each question. Okay. Right? So we, we, you, 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 it's the day of your interview, right? You call your tester, you dial in the number, you put in your PIN and get some like intimidating sounding like you will be tested for it. Exactly. Here, here's your tester. Here's your tester now. And then it's like, boom, it's like, Mahaban Mark. And it's like ready to go. <clears throat> and you pretty much know, no matter what they say that, you know, you're probably going to want, you, you know, be, you're, they're asking you to, um, to introduce yourself. Right. Right. <laughs> so you're now prepared <clears throat> because you've got these building blocks. And so you've been practicing, you've been practicing writing, journaling, preparing your answers and writing. I'll talk more about your, your practice plan, but um, you've been practicing and you've been having conversations with people and uh, <clears throat> you're ready to introduce yourself and field questions. You could even turn around and ask a question, not that you necessarily ask the teacher, the, the tester a question, but you're ready to have this conversation. Okay. Right. Everything about self or where you're from, you know. Right. Let me add one more thing here. Um, how do you say from? Uh, uh, min. Min. <clears throat> and uh, this is a new word. Can you say that? <clears throat> Sorry about my cough. Uh, min. Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. 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 Wayne Gretzky. Wayne. Okay. Wayne okay. world. <laughs> uh, min Wayne Inta means from where. Are you right? Because are you was in the. From where are you? Which is to say, you know, where are you from? Oh, okay. All right, that's the way they. I don't know if you know any Spanish, but it's the same in Spanish. From where are you? De donde eres? No, no. Min wen in the. Okay, ask me. Say, hey Tony, where are you from? From where are you? Okay, so I would say uh, min wen. Min wen, Tony. <clears throat> yeah, ask the whole thing. Oh, Min Wayne, uh, Min Wayne Inta. Yeah, Min Wayne Inta. Not just Min Wayne, it's like, where is who from? You, uh, Min Wayne Inta. Okay. Min Wayne Inta. Uh, Mark, uh, Min Wayne Inta. Uh, on the Min Janub, California. Montez, Montez, Montez. What about you? Uh, winter. Winter. Um, and I'm in Chicago. Ah. And I'm in Chicago. Um, Mark, Inta, Inta, Min Janub, California. Hey, and I'm in Janub, California. Inta Min Orange County. Uh, La. Tayeb, 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 Tayeb. Um, I'm not from Orange County. Uh, Anamin, uh, er, Anamish, Anamish, uh, Min, um, Orange County. Yeah, and, uh, Mish, and, uh, Mish. Anamish. And, uh, Mish. And, uh, Mish, Min, Orange County. And, a Mish, Min, Los Angeles. And, a Mish, Min, Florida. And, a Mish, Min, Indiana. It almost starts sounding like one word. And, a Mish, Min, and, a Mish, Min, and, a Mish, Min, Orange. And, a Mish, Min, Indiana. And, a Mish, Min, New York. And, a Mish, Min, Syria. And, a Mish, Min, Egypt. And, a Mish, Min, No? Right. You already have infinite possibilities. Yeah, it, it really expands. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I can see why. Mm -hmm. Okay, now check this out. As we continue to add topics, and I'm telling you, these are, these are the topics that you're going to talk yourself, your home, your work, what you do for fun. Um, our typical topics on, on these tests. They'll, they'll, they'll ask for general information like self, home, work, fun. And then, depending on your answers, they'll begin to explore your answers, looking to see how far you can go in detail in those answers. Right. That's the way this test works. And it's a good thing because they're not going to just say, okay, Tony, tell me what I need, you know, what, you know, tell me about the job of a chemist or something. And I'm just like, dude, like, I don't know, like, you know, what I mean? like, like you, like, for example, I, I play the guitar. And so when they ask you, what do you do for fun? I'm like... My verb is I play the guitar. And they go, okay. And then later on, they'll say, earlier you mentioned you play the guitar. Could you tell me some detail about, you know, how, how 
you know, one should go about learning to play the guitar and then they see if you can, if you, you can give detail. But the point is that they're, they're not looking for your, necessarily for your like range of vocabulary. They're looking to see how sort of fluent you can be in, in increasing detail. Ah, okay. Right. So, you, so you prepare your answers. Basically, you know what you're going to talk about, and you just need to be flexible or proficient uh, in in using the language. And this is what we're doing here: is just practicing using the language, as opposed to as opposed to gr a gr grammar lesson or something. Right. right. Your grammar, you'll find, you'll discover the grammar within within the conversation. Right. Um, if the topic is home, where you live. Uh, you, if you say Sacken, it means I live. Huh. Sacken, okay? And to say in, you say bi. Bi. Tell me where you live. Just tell me where you live. Uh, I'm a bi, California. Tayeb, Tayeb. All right, so Sacken. Means uh, I live. Oh, oh sa sakin, sakin be California. Yeah, and then blend it like this: goes sakin be California. Sakin be California. Yeah. It's kind of like how when you say I live in Chicago, it's not like I live in Chicago. It's just like I live in I live in Chicago. It kind of blends. Okay. Um, tell me where you live. Sakin be California. Sakin be California. Make it be California. It's almost like oh. be California. Oh, okay, like one word. Okay. Sakin be California. Sakin be California. Tayeb, Tayeb. Um, say I live in Southern California. Se uh, second, Bijanoub, California. Montez, Montez. So you're already free. Right. right. I didn't teach you how to say I live in Southern California. I just taught you I live in, and you fill in the blank with something you already had. Right. And, and again, you can just you can keep. Going okay. Um, if you say um, here, I, I'm gonna just see how I put the number seven there. Yeah, <clears throat> seven is H, right? Like a breathy H, like marhaban. And if you put a two, two just it sounds like an A. Oh, so it's almost like it doesn't even need to be there or something. So, so can you say that word? A read, yeah, arib. Arib. Okay. Arib. Just pretend it's not there. Arib. Some people write it like that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try to hip you to like the numbers system because that's how people do it on like Facebook and stuff. Arib. Yeah. Look, if you say Arib men, again, you don't have to learn this right now and you don't even have to use this. I'm just offering it. Um, Arib men means close to. Mm. Arib okay. means close and men, which we saw meaning from, is the word you use. Um, with Arib. So Arib men, you know, I don't know. Tell me, I live close to Los Angeles, you know. Okay, so I could say, um, Sakin, Sakin Arib men, Los Angeles. Sakin Arib men, Los Angeles. Okay. If you want to ask me if I live, I, I, I do this pattern. It's a first person statement, second person yes or no question. Okay. It, it's, it gives you maximum conversation. With maximum words. That's not where do you live. Hold on. It's do you live. Literally, do you live? Right, into you. Ask me, Tony, do you live in Chicago? In the second, uh, in the second, uh, be Chicago. In the second be Chicago. All right, ask that one more time. In the second be Janu. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. sorry. No. In the second, um, in the second be be, Cal uh, be Chicago. Yeah, give yourself permission, especially at uh, early on, but but. If always give yourself permission to kind of like shoot first and like aim later like feel free to make a bunch of like gnarly mistakes okay like just open your mind up to that there's no it's not like oh sorry i you know just just let yourself kind of just let it flow that's why after a couple like shots it's like easier to speak a language okay yeah.
in the military, people did take like a shot or two sometimes before their test. Speaking test, yeah. Right. So, um, do you live in Chicago? Oh, are you asking me or am I repeating what you're saying? Just, yeah, just, uh, just uh, repeat what I say in Arabic. So, okay. Inta sakin be Chicago. Yeah. Inta sakin be Chicago. Inta sakin be Chicago. Inta sakin. Inta sakin be Chicago. Inta sakin be Chicago. Now, imagine yourself at a, at a coffee shop. And there's uh, someone next to you, and you've struck up a little conversation. Just give it, give your name, maybe, and say where you're from, and uh, and then you know maybe ask them, do you uh, so do you do you live in Los Angeles or wherever you are? Do you live in whatever? Just saying, just imagine yourself really using this, really. At, you're asking the questions not because you're trying to learn the language. You're asking the questions because you're looking to uh, get information. Okay. Um, marhaba. Uh, marhaba. It's, it's me, Mark. Marhaba. Uh, I'm a. I'm in Jenoub, California. Montez. Um, uh, inta inta sakin. Inta inta sakin. Uh, be be Los Angeles. Uh huh. Uh huh. La. You can see where my mouse is going. Right, we're live. Okay. La la la. Uh, how do you think you say I don't live? I would say uh, sucking mish. Excellent guess. Oh. Excellent guess. Oh, okay. You, you'll you'll start to see patterns. For now, just suspend disbelief. Just go. Okay, mish second. Miss second. Okay. Miss second. Uh, okay. So, you, what did you ask? Do you ask me? Do you live in Chicago, in uh, Los Angeles? Ask me that. In the second, uh, be, be Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. In the second, be Los Angeles. Uh, la. Miss second, be Los Angeles. Second, be Chicago. Ah. Winter, Mark. Winter. Um, in the second. In the second, uh, be California, be Genoa, California. Uh, hey, uh, in in the uh, in the mean Genoa, California. Montez, Montez, I live. Oh, second, second, be uh, second, be Genoa, uh, California. Yeah. Second, be Genoa, California. Second. <laughs> be one of those. Uh, you, you might not have, not have heard this, but but you can imagine. Be one of those like documentary narrators in Arabic, like on Al Jazeera. There's these documentaries that they play, and it's like they're like like fill on like like uh, like second Bijanou, the California, like all, all clear and stuff. Okay. Nice and slow. Just go for perfection over speed. Okay. So. Second, be be Genoub, California. Second, be Genoub, California. Okay, mom says. Uh, inta second, uh, inta second, uh, be Los Angeles. Um. Uh. Uh. La. Um. Uh. Second, be be uh, San Bernardino. Okay. Second, be San. Whatever you said. Bernard, Bernardino. Bernardino. Okay. Tayyib, Tayyib. Um, <clears throat> and then add a comma and say, close to Los Angeles. Okay. Um, Arib min Los Angeles. Arib min Los Angeles. Because okay. you don't necessarily always need to make a complete sentence. You can just say, second be San Bernardino. Arib min Los Angeles. Okay. Your job is just to convey information. It's not to like get anything right or like follow some rule or something. Like it's just natural. It's logical. All right. When I say Tayyip, you can say Tayyip. Tayyip. Tayyip Mark. Tayyip. Tayyip. Montez. 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 Tayyip. <coughs> um, uh, 
uh, how do you say I'm from, uh, let, pretend you're from Florida. I'm from North Carolina, and I'm in North Carolina. So how do you say I'm from North Carolina? I'm in, I'm in uh, North Carolina. I'm in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's best. Best. Mm -hmm. I live in Chicago. It's or best second bit in this Chicago. Hala. 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 Yeah, that too, we saw it earlier. It makes like a just an ah sound, but what it does at the end of a word is it kind of just cuts the word. So instead of like hala. Oh, oh sorry. Like, I, I, I thought that was a seven for a second there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Hala. 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 Moment, moment test. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, uh, how do you say? I'm from. I'm from North Carolina, but I live in Chicago now. And I'm in, and I'm in uh, North Carolina. This second, second, um, be, be, uh, be California. Montez, Montez. Uh, are you from California all your life, or could you say I'm from somewhere else? Oh, uh, California my whole life. My whole life, all right. So that doesn't necessarily apply to you. But I want you to have the word but and the word now anyway. Okay. <clears throat> and I want you to see how you can make long sentences just by mixing and matching basic building blocks. So I'm going to quiz myself and take it away and see if I could actually, you know, because it's, it's game time. I'm, I'm, I'm in the interview now. And I want to see if I can introduce myself, right? So, marhaba, it's me, Tony. And I'm in Chicago. Second, be Logan Square, Chicago. Um, and I'm in North Carolina. Best uh, second, be Chicago Hala. So on and so forth. Or whatever you want to say. There's no, no, no one says you have to say. It. You have to memorize anything. Okay. Just see if you, see what you can do. Take give yourself a second. Look at it. And then quiz yourself. This you can do this when 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 no one else is around. Quiz yourself. Introduce yourself, Mark, please. Okay. As much or as little as you can. You don't you don't you don't have to put your neck out. Just much or as little as you can. Just make it good enough. You know. All right. Um, marhaba. Marhaba. It's me, Mark. And I'm in Genoub, California. Mm -hmm. Um. Sakin, 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 the uh, San Bernardino. Montez. Um, this, mm -hmm. this Sakin, San Diego, um, Hala. Okay, 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 okay. Say, I'm from San Bernardino, but I live in... Uh, San Diego now. That's that's the point, right? Oh, okay. So I sh I should say um, and I mean and I mean uh, San Bernardino. Montez. Best <coughs> Sakin. Best Sakin. San Ber Oh, San Diego. Mm -hmm. So notice notice that when you have it in front of you, it's 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 way easy because you just you just mix and match building blocks. The, the way that I, I'll create this for you is that you can use the English as your guide. If it matches in English, it should match in Arabic. It's just you mix and match building blocks. Okay. Okay. Um, but but of course, when you look away, it's like uh oh, now I actually have to recall. Right. Right. <clears throat> so my job <clears throat> is to build a matrix. It's 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 my approach. So uh, we, we build a matrix. And then what you can, what you, you'll do is you, you'll go away and you can quiz yourself. And what you should do is, is, is grab your notebook. So pretend this is your notebook, right? And uh, you just start writing. You just go, marhaba. And you dictate. Pre pretend you're writing, but just dictate to me. Just tell me what you want me to type. Uh, uh, it's me, Mark. And I'm in Janoub, California. Uh, Sakin, uh, be San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, mm-hmm. It's or that's that's this, uh, sock in San Diego. Hola. Second in San Diego. Hola. Okay. Uh, say I'm from San Bernardino. Ah, oh, darn it. Uh, Ana Min. One test. All right. And now there's there's no there's no problem here. You 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 just you quiz yourself and then you go. Wait, is this right? Wait, how do you? And then you you think about it. And if you need to, you go back up and you check. But the point is, you quiz yourself in writing. Right. All right. And, and you just do that by topic. So like the topic is describe yourself. Right. You know, and just you just grab a topic. Make this all the way I like it. All right. So this is your notebook, a literal notebook, you know, that you have. Maybe, maybe an Arabic, a dedicated Arabic notebook or something, right? And you take your matrix that I'll, that I'll supply to you and build with you and, and, and play with with you. And then you quiz yourself in writing. Right. And then you're ready to have a conversation with real people. So let me put, let me put your practice, like, strategy here you build a matrix and that's that's mo- that's basically what i do you're welcome to do it yourself too but I, that's sort of my art you know so you, you get you get your matrix and then you write and you speak and, and and you know by speak i mean with real people right right and by the way writing so writing is your notebook and also texting people or like in, like ch- chatting internet or texting it's, right. it's kind of a combo of writing and speaking. Um, and look, I speak with myself, like in the mirror, and but, but definitely real people. So everything that's on here is a must. There's nothing on here that's extra and nothing missing. You, you build a matrix, you write, and you speak with real people. Okay. All right. Mark. Montez, okay. So then, what I'll do is uh, just kind of keep going. And uh, here's the thing: I, I've been in a ton of conversations of in Arabic, of course. And once you just start speaking a little bit of Arabic with someone, very quickly the topic of Arabic itself comes up. You, how did you learn Arabic? Why, did you, and so on and so forth, right? Right. And so I want to just start laying down some things. And you'll see what happens. So, how do you say that? Uh, behke or behke? Yeah, behki. 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 Yeah. Um, that three it makes uh, it, it, it the, the sound, This word is Arabi. It's it's mostly like an A, but it has like a, a throat thing. It's Arabi. It's it's the letter Ain. Arabi. Alright, Arabi. Tayyib. Tayyib. Alright, how do you say I speak Arabic? Behki, Arabi. Behki, Arabi. Okay, now check this out. For me to ask you, do you speak Arabic? You just do this. So it'd be Betahki. Momtaz. Perfect pronunciation, great. So. If I, if, uh, you know, reverse role play, uh, yep. I would say Batehki Arabi. Mm-hmm, Batehki Arabi. And I already have the word for yes up there, but I'll just put it there again. A, 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 A. Batehki Arabi. Uh, Winta. Uh, Winta, Mark. Batehki Arabi. A. Batehki Arabi. Batehki Arabi. Batehki Arabi. Mom says Batehki Arabi. A. Batehki Arabi. Um, you could go this way. Shway Arabi? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so I speak a little Arabic. Okay. So. Oh, I, okay, so I would say, I would, I would say, um, Bahki Shway Arabi. Mom tells, Bahki Shway Arabi. Behki shway Arabi. Behki shway Arabi. Mark, um, Betehki Arabi. Hey, Behki shway Arabi. Behki shway Arabi. Montez, Montez. 
check this out. Bidrus. <coughs> Bidrus. 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 Mm -hmm. I study Arabic. I study Arabic. Uh, Bidrus Arabi. Bidrus Arabi. Bidrus Arabi. So you said a couple words to me in Arabic. I'm surprised. I'm oh, you speak Arabic. I'd say oh, Bataki Arabi. And you'll say oh, speak a little. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can you can add on top. You could say I study Arabic. Uh, um, bidrus, bidrus Arabi. Bidrus Arabi. <coughs> All right, now check this out. Bahki, Bahki. became Betahki. Right. How do you think? What? What? So what does Bidrus become? Uh, uh, Montez, Montez. My motto is language teaches itself, Ooh. which means <clears throat> you didn't need me <clears throat> to tell you the next step. And so you, you need me less and less. You need anyone else less and less because the pattern just becomes clear to you. Bahki is to betahki as bidrus is to betidrus. Why is it that way? I don't know. It just is that way. But once it is that way, you can assume that it will be that way. Right. Right. So ask me, say, uh, what about you? Do you study Arabic, Tony? Winter um, betidrus uh, Arabi, Tony? Betidrus Arabi. Uh, hey. Hey, betidrus Arabi. Winter Mark, betidrus Arabi. Hey, uh, Bidrus Ar Arabi. Montez Wayne. Bidrus Arabi. Wayne Bidrus Arabi. Where do you study, Wayne Bidrus? Where do you study? Uh, online. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, say I study Arabic. Let's say. Uh, um, so they they really just say build internet. Build internet. Okay. Say that. Yeah. That's that's exactly that's really what they say. So yeah, that that's really what they say. Uh. You could say Skype. The Skype. <laughs> you know. So I just I study Arabic on Skype. Hmm. Um. Uh. Bidrus Biskay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bidrus Biskay. I say I study Arabic on Skype. Uh. Bidrus Arabi Biskay. Montez. Montez. Uh. This word means with. Uh. Ma. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh. Exactly. Ma. Uh, the the three makes it's like ma. It's, it's almost the same, ma, but it has like a throw, oh. ma. Okay. So, so it, it's it's a, it's a little more emphasis, a little more drawn out. So yeah, something like that. Don't worry about it. Okay. <clears throat> um, that word means teacher or a teacher. So ma ma ustaz. Montez ma ustaz. Ma ustez. Ma ustez. Yeah, great pronunciation. Ma ustez. I study Arabic on Skype uh, with a teacher. I study Arabic with a teacher on Skype. I study Arabic with a teacher. I study Arabic with a teacher on Skype. Bidrus, Arabi, Arabi, Ma, ma, uh, yeah, ma, ustez, biscuit. Montez. Bidrus Arabi, ma, ustez, biscuit. Tayyip. Tayyip. So, what you'll do is go to your notebook, over back over to your notebook, 
and uh, and add in the next topic. And if you want, you can make it like a dialogue. How would you say? Uh, do you study? Do you, do you speak Arabic? So it would be uh, the Kudrus Arun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then for speak. Oh, Betehki. Uh, uh, or, or sorry, I'm, I pronounced that wrong. Betehki. That's right. Arabi. Betehki Arabi. Yes, I speak Arabic. Or yes, I speak a little Arabic. Uh, hey, um, Betehki. Shway, um, um, Shway Arabi. Mehki Shway Arabi. I study Arabic. Um, Bidrus Arabi. Bidrus Arabi. Where do you study Arabic? Oh, um, Bidrus. Mm -hmm. Ask the question. Where? Oh, where? Uh, um, I can't remember the word. I, oh, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Wayne. Um, Wayne. Wayne Arabi. Mm -hmm. Do you study? Where do you study? Wayne. Bidrus Arabi. Montez. Wayne Bidrus Arabi. Um, so then I would respond with, um, Bidrus Arabi, um, um, oh, Ma, Martin says, mm -hmm. um, Martin says, Uh, this guy. Alright, and that's your notebook. So you have your matrix, and that's your building blocks, and then you practice writing because it's a different game to, to when you when you turn the page, when you quiz yourself. Right. Alright, so you practice writing, you quiz yourself. You just write sentences, you you write a journal format or you write a, a dialogue format. And then you get on Skype with your friend from Syria and just have a little conversation, do a little language exchange, or, or you know, call up your teacher, find your friend, or or text someone, or or anything like that, you know. Right. Tayeb, Mark. Tayeb. Tayeb. Um. All right. So, what's the best thing for the next few minutes? Nine nine minutes. The time time goes by super fast, no? <laughs> yeah, it was a little slow on my head. That was very hard. Was it? All right. Cool. Cool. Well, it gets a lot easier. I mean, at least you know what to do. You see? Yeah. Right. Like as soon as uh, you've got these words committed to memory, it's just a matter of mixing and matching them. Uh, just a quick question: uh, sure. Are are you going to? Send this to me, or do I need to keep writing this down? Oh, oh! I didn't even know you were writing. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, don't write anything. I'm going to send you the PDF. Okay. Yeah, it's going to look okay. like. Yeah. yeah, that's that's even better because uh, yeah, um, for all my teachers I've ever worked with, I hope I my natural reaction is I got to start writing down as much of this. Yeah, as I you see what's on my screen here? Yeah. PDF style. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'll send you the PDF. Um. Okay, so let me just add a few more things. Really nothing new, and uh, <clears throat> and it's just going to be a matter of your... From, for, from now for the next week or so, however, you know, however long, um, your, you, what, what you want to do is, 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 is basically commit this to memory, but not just rote memory. You want to be able to communicate through it. Right. You know? And you'll know if you're able to because you'll be able to write without looking. And then the ultimate test is can you do it face to face live? Right. With a real person, right? That's the that's the test. And now you have to fail many times. Don't think that it's gonna go stellar every time or even good at all. Like there's many it's gonna take many times of 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 kind of bumping up against a, a wall, but you have to keep doing it. Right. You know? And you can mitigate it. You can mitigate the failure, um, which which is 
is bound to happen. But there's, it's, it's, it depends on how you look at it. It's not failure. It's just it's part of the process. You know? But you can right. mit mitigate the difficulty by preparing your thoughts, preparing your dialogues in writing. Okay. And how do you know that you're, what you're writing is right? Because you have a matrix that's ready to go. Yeah. Right. So nothing too new here. Um, let me just put a put a, put a word there for you. Uh, the head. The head. The head. Yeah. Check this out. If I take this word, Becky, drop it down here. All right, I'm looking for, I like to speak Arabic. I just want to show you how that works grammatically. You, you drop the B, and you're good to go. Oh, okay. So I, so I would say, Baheb, um, Ehki, Arabi. Montez, Baheb Ehki, Arabi. Sure. Baheb Ehki, Arabi. How do you say I like to, I like to study Arabic? So let's see. A study that's. So I would say. Idrus? Montez. So I would say. Bahab Idrus Arabi. Montez, Bahab Idrus Arabi. Wow. <laughs> Bahab Ahki Arabi. Bahab Ahki Arabi. Bahab Idris Arabi. Check this out. Baddi? Biddi. 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 I want. Okay, so I could say Biddi Ahki Arabi. Montez. If you put uh, this, we had ma for with, and you just make it a w one word. It works that way. Mock. Ma. Okay, so. Biddi ehki arabi ma. Montez. Biddi ehki arabi ma. Ma. The Idrus Arabi Ma. Montez, Montez, that's the idea. Mm. Um, Italian. 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 So I could, I could say. Biddi, no, no, er, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so I would say, Biddi Italian Arabi. Montes. Biddi Italian Arabi. Biddi Italian Arabi. Biddi, er, er, Behab Italian Arabi. Montes. Behab Italian Arabi. بحب تعلم عربي بحب أحكي عربي بحب أدرس عربي بدي أحكي عربي بدي أدرس عربي بدي تعلم عربي بدي أدرس عربي معك بدي أحكي عربي معك طيب طيب بدي أحكي عربي نجيب one more here فيني فيني Okay, so I could say Fini 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 Ehki Arabi Ma. You're you're Mr. Fini from uh, Boy Meets World. I've never actually watched that. <laughs> All right, well that 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 example bombed then. Mm. Fini. Yeah, Fini. 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 Idrus Arabi ma Montes. Fini Italim Arabi 
Bach. Montez, Montez. Can I speak Arabic with you? Um, fini, fi, fini, eh, ki Arabi, ba. Montez, Montez. I have two minutes with you, and here's just what I want to show you. I want, I want to, sh to show you a picture of the future, um, in terms of uh, what you, what you'll want to learn in this language to be as efficient as possible, as soon as possible. Um, and uh, it's this. You, you've seen that that uh, that sentences. Conversation all revolves around a verb. Right. All right. So basically the order of operations in any conversation, any language, this is a universal thing. There's a topic and there's a question and there's an answer more or less. Like that's generally like what a conversation is, right? Like even if someone doesn't a ask a question, like the, whatever I'm telling you, like answers a question you maybe didn't know you had. Right. Okay. And once you get to this area, question and answer, it all revolves around a verb, uh, verb and vocabulary. It's just a mixture and match, mi mix, mixture and matching of verb and vocabulary. Right. Okay. So <laughs> what you can do is uh, you you got your topic. Uh, you, you, you start, you're, you're, you know, build a matrix, you know, practice writing, practice speaking with real people time and time again, um, get all of your failures out of the way. Um, and here's the thing with Arabic, there is only, there aren't very many tenses. Let me, let me count them for you. There's Bahki, I speak. There's Ambahki. Which means I'm speaking. <clears throat> There's kint bahki, and, and look, it's all bahki. I used to speak, and there's hakate, the one sort of weird, slightly weird change, which is your simple passes. But here's the good news: these are the only tenses that there are. Mm. Four tenses. Interesting. So, so let me, let me, let me. Now you don't have to learn any of this right now. It's not. It's not. I just want to show you like uh, the, the future. Uh, there, there's also I was speaking, which isn't a big deal. It's just kint on Becky. So again, it's not about like you got to learn this right now, man. Uh, it's just to show you what it, what this language looks like. Oh wow. Okay. So it's not a big deal because look, it's Becky, 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 Becky. And then it just. And then the last one is. Mm -hmm. Only where it gets tricky. Where is, is where it gets a little tricky. So, so with every verb, you'll want to learn the present tense and the past tense form. Right. And everything else is just variations on the present tense. For I speak, I'm speaking, I used to speak, I was speaking. It's all built around the present tense. And then just with your simple past tense, it gets weird. Wow. Yeah, that's... Right. That's so, really useful. It's really what? It's very useful. Right. Yeah. So it's like okay. You don't like I said. It's not like you have to listen to those right. But but it's just good to know what you're what you're in for. And, and so now check this out. If the vocabulary is Arabi, you can say I speak Arabic. I'm speaking Arabic. I used to speak Arabic. I was speaking Arabic the other day with Tony on Skype. Or I spoke Arabic today. How do you say I spoke Arabic? Uh, Hakeit Arabi. Hakeit mm -hmm. Arabi. Right. So alongside these, the, the, these are your tenses, past, present, future. I mean, and that's that's this is all there is in, in Syrian Arabic. Um, so so you know we'll go along adding some adverbs to help you fill in information. Today is Eliom. Eliom. Katir you know. Arabic means a lot of Arabic. Katir means a lot. Katir. Okay. You know, whatever you know. So say I spoke a lot of Arabic today. Um. Hakeit Katir Arabi Elyom. Earlier we had with with Tony, with someone, with Tony. So I spoke a lot of Arabic today with Tony. Right. Go ahead. Um, Hakeit Katir Arabi Ma Tony Elyom. Yeah, perfect. You could do either order. No problem. 
Okay, <clears throat> so structurally, that's sort of what you're in for. All right. Um, here's the secret that no one knows. Uh, the structure of a language is an incredibly light thing. It's about as light as the structure of a building. If you think about it, a building's heavy, it's full of concrete, full of furniture, but, uh, but the structure is like some super light, thin, relatively thin uh, beams, and it's just a few of them. Right. right. It's, it's what you do inside the house that uh, is where you know, the possibilities happen. But once, if you have the structure, you're just playing within the structure. Right. Yeah. So the structure is pretty light. In, ter in terms of topic, this is the last thing I'll tell you. In terms of topic, um, self, home, work, and fun. Sometimes I just throw the Arabic language in there too, as as part of the fun topics. What you you know, to, to tell me where, about about yourself, where you're from, where you live, what you do for work, what you do for fun, and Arabic. Um, there's a topic that I call catching up, which is how was your day, how was your week, uh, what's new, how's it going, those types of things. Right. Right. Um, that that extends into uh, what did you do. Like, how was your weekend? What did you do? Okay, that's going to be your past tense. Variation on that, just in the present tense, is going to be what are you doing, and then what are you going to do, uh, which is your future tense. And so these eight, these eight topics are what we'll um, do first, and you're going to see, you've kind of already seen the depth of the language. Right. It's just a matter of... Uh, of, of deepening within that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that's that. Uh, if you can do what we've done already, even when I when I closed the screen and just had you dictate to me or just have a little conversation like that, you you could possibly score a zero plus, uh, like today or next week, like if you practiced a bit. Hmm. And it, and by the way, it only goes up to three. Right. So it's three is you're a fluent speaker, more or less, and oh. zero is you know nothing, and it's possible to score zero plus. I mean, you could all, zero plus means that you have some memorized phrases, and you have even a little more than that. You can build conversation. Right. My FBI guy's got a one point five out of three in a month. <laughs> That's some skill right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so here's what you here's what you should do then. Uh, t take what I have here. I'm going to send you the PDF, and uh, practice writing. Quiz yourself. Just go to town. Just get creative. Use the matrix. Don't use it. Quiz yourself. Look away. Look back. Whatever it is, just start writing. Right. And then as soon as possible, like today, tomorrow, like ASAP, find some conversation people and uh, and just go out and like just do it like guerrilla style. Okay. Tayyib? Cool, cool. Do you have any questions for me? No, no, I don't. Cool. What, what, do, what do you think? Uh, this was incredible. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.